Hello everyone, uh, in this video we will see on how to set up a meeting uh, using Outlook application. So in our previous video we recorded uh, how to set up a meeting in Teams application. This video will talk about mainly on how to set up a meeting in Outlook application. So you see this calendar icon on the left pane or for some people it may be in the down pane. So you just need to click on calendar and you can see four different options here. I will explain one by one. So before proceeding, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Okay, let's get on to point. Uh, here we have four options. Uh, I will tell you the difference. The first one is new appointment, uh, which means that uh, you have another appointment with any other guys or uh, you have your own task. Then you can book your own appointment here and you can block your calendar. So people will know that you have a certain task going on and uh, while scheduling a meeting, it will show you that you are on some other task. So that's the purpose of here. And I have done a video on how to put out of office immediately after your working hours. Using this new appointment option, you can uh, find that link in the card icon. Moving on to meeting, uh, this is a physical meeting where people actually interact physically. It's not an online meeting. If you want to schedule that kind of meeting, you can click on this. And the main thing here is the location. So you need to click on room finder. And if you are in, in the office, then you can see all the cubicles or the conference rooms and everything here. And that's about the meeting that is not online. And if it is meet now, once you click, it will pop up this meeting now tab and you can quickly join and you can ask people to join here that's meet now and moving on teams meeting which is mostly preferred and uh, mostly used meeting so i will be explaining on this click on this uh, here it is title as usual so if you are setting up a meeting just for fun fun weekend or fun friday uh, people will have this in common i hope and required is something you know like people that are mandatory and optional is something to let them know that there is meeting going on if they want they can come but required is something that mandatory and the name itself says required and optional right start time and end time uh, you can choose this i guess i hope uh, whatever date it is uh, and the time you can schedule and all and the location if you see it is microsoft teams meeting and if you see this right uh, this is the automatically populated meeting invite and let me tell you if i click on don't host online you see the location is vanished and it is uh, the same as the physical meeting that is uh, i showed you earlier so we are going to host a, a meeting in the teams that is like this and you have option to make recurring uh, meetings let's say it is a friday right we make it friday every friday so you put it weekly and uncheck wednesday and put it friday and it will continue to happen until you say uh, end date. So it is till October, I guess it is keep on going on, uh, keep on going. You can end after 24 occurrence. It, it can have a uh, n number of possibilities here. Or if you don't want to end, let it happen through your whole life. You can put it like this and click on OK. So it will occur every Friday. Okay, That's how uh, you can schedule a recurring meetings. And you need to click on send that is here. You can also forward as I calendar, which means that you can see forward this item to someone else as an attachment. So it will go as an attachment there and all this apart. And here there is an another option which shows a busy tentative working elsewhere free and out of office. So basing on this, when you are on fun Friday meeting, when the meeting is going on, what is the status that you want to show to other people in Teams or in Outlook that is decided by here. So if you put busy, it will show you are in busy mode or you are in call mode to another people. If you put it working elsewhere, it will show as uh, working elsewhere and nobody can actually try to put a meeting in that particular time because you are working elsewhere, right? Everyone prefers Outlook application for uh, creating a meeting invite because there is one more option which is scheduling assistant okay so here if you see i added uh, one more uh, email id here so which is tech of freaks you know so 
if it is your company a uh, provided outlook application you can see all the people status here uh, it is a general version so you are not able to see the uh, information and all uh, as i told so if you want to schedule some meeting at around 3 or something right you can actually click on that so it shows here uh, what is the availability and uh, when he is available uh, when uh, when people are available it can actually suggest you a time when can you uh, actually uh, put the call which is free for both of you or four members five members whatever it is so that option will be enabled here you can click on auto pick and you can do the rest this is how we schedule a meeting before uh, sending any meeting invites you must check scheduling assistant to see whether people are available or not that's the only thing you need to put it in mind and that's it thank you all for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this video